Hello and welcome. My name is Nat Knight, the Capital Markets Editor at White Knight Media. Since the financial crisis, we've seen a growth in regulatory reporting and compliance for both the buy and the sell side. This, of course, has big implications for data management. In order to find out how the growth of regulation is affecting data management, I've come into the offices of Golden Source. And today I'm meeting with Neil Van Lint, their Managing Director. Neil, thanks very much for having me in. You're welcome. Um, as I mentioned, greater regulatory reporting and compliance is, is a fact of life in financial services, whether we like it or not. Um, uh, how are organisations managing this process? Well, I think the, the overall um, response to regulation is to break it up into teams that, that deal with each of the regulations. Um, and they drill back from the, the actual requirement into the implications on their operation. But because these teams are distinct, it tends to lead to siloed solutions. Okay. So we have individual solutions that, that, that pop up all over the organisation that are actually probably overlapping, but, um, but are, are actually delivered and executed in, in isolation. Mm -hmm. Over, with a, an overarching um, management of the regulation at the management level, but, but underneath it, its uh, individual teams. Okay, and, and, and what kind of impact are the latest regulations having on financial data management? Well, I think really what's happening now is it's seen not just as a reporting requirement post-operation, but it's driving into the data management that supports the operation. So an example of that is MIFID 2. It's not just about reporting the LEI. You have, you have to have the LEI of the issuer to be able to trade. So that means you have to store that in your data, in your data management system, make it available to your trading system. So this now has operational impact not just reporting you know, post-event. So I think the, the major impact really is that it's now seen as an operational impact, not just um, a reporting uh, requirement. Okay, and, and how do you think firms can manage this more efficiently? Well, there are data sets that impact multiple regulations. So if you're gonna manage that data set efficiently, it's better to rationalize to a single um, data management solution. So rationalize and, and take the data management into a centralized place, improve the rules and the workflow around that particular data set, and you're not faced with a situation where you have to fix the data over there and over there and over there. It's like digging the road up multiple times. You, know? mm -hmm. you fix it once and you rationalize. So centralization, better understanding of your, your um, actual data model, having a, a data model that links data sets together. So link your counterparties to your issuers, to your LEI. So better linkage, better data model, rationalized data management, and a better data dictionary, I would say. Okay, if we look at entity data, it's common in a lot of regulations, but what are the characteristics of an entity master that can support multiple regulations? Okay, well if we look at Basel 239 for example, that's all about counterparty risk, mm -hmm. understanding counterparty hierarchy. Um, counterparty hierarchy itself is a, a hierarchy of legal entities. Legal entity is, um, is a fundamental um, institution you do business with. They're also issuers, uh, they have an LEI. So um, consolidation of um, entity data into a single entity master allows you to track your customers, issuers, and counterparties. That affects MIFID as well as Basel 239 and other regulations as well. So an entity master itself uh, can be the backbone of your, your reference data architecture. Okay, well it sounds like people are having to be very busy because of all the regulations. And um, sadly that's all we have time for today. Neil, thank you very much and thank you Golden Source for having me in today. All right, thank you. And I hope you, the audience, enjoyed that as well.